Okay. Well, hey guys, welcome to Playtime Podcast. <laughs> oh, I don't know what episode this is, but it's season two and we're feeling good. And we have the most amazing girl ever. <laughs> is there, I thought there was a list There was going to be a out. list, but then I was like, yeah. it's going to be a bit weird if I do a list. You need, no, no. I'm not going to do a list. Do you want to do a list? Yeah. I'll do a list. I'll do. She hot. She fan. <laughs> She's funny. She good. I She's. You, no, no, no. I thought you were yes. going to do <laughs> Well, no weird okay anyway yes right. <laughs> nice hey yes hello how are you good how are you good thanks for having me no worries it's a bit of a last minute thing but we like very it. very last minute mm. this is yaz's first podcast as well yeah so. it is my first podcast you kind of felt bad you thought well, she's driven me home now got to invite her in <laughs> yeah <to do> podcast. <laughs> yes true like i was like Charlie, is, is it okay that she comes on you're like yeah, yeah of course sure. of course yeah. so if no one knows who she is but i'm sure you do uh she has recently come on to made in chelsea a new cast member yeah uh what series did you come on to just series. before bali right yeah we're well, just before bali mm. i came in i smiled on a date yep he turned me down yep <laughs> how how did that all go then like how are you guys now you it's a bit right? awkward really i mean <laughs> it's yeah i mean it is what it is but you, you've got a boyfriend now right i have a boyfriend yeah <laughs> <laughs> what, why, why are you laughing so much? I don't know, you're <laughs> laughing. I don't know. Um, I have a boyfriend. Right. It's because she she went to Bali yeah. and she came back with a boyfriend. Yeah. yeah. That's what happened. That's nice. It literally happened. There was no plan. I was like, I'm going single. I'm living my best single life. Mm. And I came back with a boyfriend. Oh, nice. Yeah. So happy days now. You're yeah. tied in for the dragon to get married? Maybe. <laughs> Sorry. I, uh, you never know. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? It's a bit. It's a bit early to be it's asked. Early. They've just, they, you, it's a bit also a bit of an intense question for yeah. you, really, isn't it? Are you ready yeah, for marriage and kids? Do you think in a relationship though? Do you feel like you should know whether you want to marry that person? No. Yes. Really? <laughs> do you? Do you? What do you think? Well, I think I can't see myself with someone unless I don't see a future. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah of course. But I mean, like. What so you when you first like start dating someone, you're like, yeah, I could marry him. That would work. Yeah. So if I thought, oh my gosh, I'll never see a future with him. Yeah. I'm like, right, let's not. Well, there's yeah. no point, is it? You're there's not no gonna point. you're not gonna date someone seriously if you think there is no future. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. I, I guess putting it in the way of like Charlie's saying, just love and dating. That's what it is. It's just date, 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 date. Yeah. Well, mate, I, like. <laughs> Oh, you're, He's like, you're, gonna be like, How no, I mean, like, you're, you're the same, mate. Until, yeah, no, no. until like about a week ago. <laughs> no, no. Where? Sorry, four weeks. Four ago. weeks. Four weeks. <laughs> four weeks. Yeah. Where do you find all your dates? Where do I find all my dates? Yeah. I mean, we're making out like I'm a serial dater here. I go on a couple of dates, cuff me. What do you? No, you um, said that you go on one date a week. Probably. That's that's not that and, bad. And what, what about the second date? So let's say you're going on a date once a week. Yeah. Do you skip a week if you liked the the week before day? Well, no. O obviously, like if I start seeing someone, I'll just like date them a few times. But I mean, it's not like I've just got like a rolling like um, what do you call it? A rotor. It's not like I've got like this like rotisserie. The, it's, it's not like <laughs> I've got this like pipeline of girls. Just like is like if I start seeing someone, I like them. I'll date them. Yeah. But yeah. What's nice. what's your Type. What's my your, type. Oh, yeah. I feel like I'm being interviewed now. <laughs> yeah, I love. Yeah. I love this. Like, like, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. I feel well, like well, we're well, in a scene well, of main well, Chelsea. Well, yeah. What's my type? Yeah. Well, okay. So, in terms. of... Sorry, I always do this as well. It's fine. In terms nervous. of. Um, yeah, I am. <laughs> yeah, you're nervous. making him nervous. You're making me nervous. <laughs> um, no, in terms of personality, I like someone who's quite self-assured, quite confident. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's like. That's me. <laughs> yeah. What else? And then, and then, in terms of looks, yeah. I use I actually have a similar type to Mars. Like usually, like petite brunette. I also like blondes. Mm. Um, I yeah, like like most things. <laughs> Thames is in the back. He's waiting. He's going to come on Patreon later. Love no, that. You can, I, no, well, it, we it can really hear you. So if you want to add what's, anything into this, you can. What What's your type, Yaz? My type. Um, I <laughs> I don't think I have a type. Okay. Do you not? What's What's your history been like then? Um, everyone looks different. Okay. Like literally everyone does look different. So do you have like a personality type that you yeah. like? Yeah. What's that? A bit funny. A bit funny? Just just like YOLO. What? Like they don't take themselves too oh, seriously kind yeah. of vibe. Yeah, yeah okay. Like, Did they you just say YOLO? Yeah, is that a childish thing to say? Mm. <laughs> I haven't heard that in my, three years. One of my um, friends from back home, actually, when we were young, we went to Zanti. Oh, oh, and he got Yozo tattooed on his ass. <laughs> no, no. Yozo. What, Yo you only? Yo Yoni's auntie once. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh no. no. 
Oh, um, that is t- that is tragic. But anyway, that's a side point. Um, but yeah, YOLO, hey? YOLO, you only live once. Okay, so um, how? let's talk about Chelsea a little bit. Mm-hmm. You, I remember, so people may not know, but we met before you came on to Chelsea. Yes. Um, and wait, wait, wait. Also, let's, let's go into that as well. Yeah. We didn't, we meet on my TikTok live. Yeah. So, oh my we God, yes. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is how it happened. Yeah, yeah. We were, we were sat here. Yeah. And we were, basically, we were on my TikTok live. Me and Miles just sat here and um, you popped up. Yeah. yeah. I was like, I was on my TikTok and then you came, you know, when they have like, I don't know, I was came, came onto your live. Yeah. I was like, let's join it. <laughs> I remember like you like accepting my request. Yeah. And then I was like, this is so bad. What am I doing? <laughs> And you were like, prove your age. You were like, you're my age. Yeah. Well, you got to like, be careful. You have ID. You? And I was like, do I look that young? Well, I mean, like, you got to be careful on TikTok because there's quite a young crowd yeah. sometimes and you don't want to be like talking to underage girls. Not that you look underage, but. A um, little bit. It's a compliment, though. It's a compliment, though. <laughs> Looking young. Yeah. But um, yeah, we met on we the met live on and then Miles, I think, followed up. Is no, that no, you, you were no, like, no, no. no. There were, yeah, you yeah, said yeah. Something. I said, oh, the funny story, actually. Yeah. She's, oh, and then she, that she was when you were talking to Chelsea, was it? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I then remember. it was like kind of all happened in that. And then same you week. were debating on not doing it or doing it, yeah. and then yeah. and then you spoke to Miles, and then bingo, yeah. and she got on. And no, then we, and then no, yeah. they 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 were. I had no idea they were talking yeah. to you, and that's when yeah. you were like, "Oh, I've got a funny story to tell you." And then obviously we started talking about it, and then we went for a drink. Yeah. And how did that go? We had a great we had I, such honestly. A good time. What? As in, was it like a date? No. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We, we didn't kiss sounds, or sounds like a date to me. We didn't kiss. No, we didn't kiss. We didn't actually. Yeah, yeah, but w- it, like it was framed as a date. So look, you, you so weren't we just went, friends. We went you? for this drink. Yeah. yeah. Well, we didn't know what we were. We would never met before. You were just TikTok yeah. buddies. TikTok friends. <laughs> but, and then yeah. I think we just we got on well. <laughs> we got on well yeah. and hit it off. That was that. And then well, El- no, it was, Ella oh, came it, back. It was a part. It was a bit of a <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, let's not talk about that. Uh, no, no but what? Sorry, Ella it came was, back. So as that was happening, then yeah. Mars was talking. Right. Yeah. Well, <laughs> oh no, I'm in the. I'm doing something. Uh, no, but what the? <laughs> <laughs> Never seen you laugh this much before. <laughs> <laughs> Um, okay peace, peace peace. anyway peace you're on the show now so we're yeah. happy yeah. no we we had a great time that yes. that drinks and also for me when i met <coughs> you and you're like i'm talking to chelsea yeah not really sure what i want to do because also one thing that people should know is that you're an actor yeah right and that was why i was concerned about mm. going on the show i, see, I thought I if i go on the show maybe no one's going to take me seriously in the acting industry yeah but i think now this day and age everything's evolved around social media mm. yeah and it's literally all about social media. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I think it does bring other opportunities. And why can't I? 100%. And you have a big TikTok following already. Like when, yeah. when we saw your TikTok, you had like 170,000 mm-hmm. followers at the time. Um, so it, it's one of those things where it's a natural progression yeah. when you do influencer type thing. Mm-hmm. Um, if you have that opportunity, why not take it? It exactly. grows your following. It's a new experience. And also, you know, acting it depends really what you want to do. You could easily still, I mean, Ollie Locke's done acting. He went in exactly. some sitcoms. So, you know, it can be, and I think also it's interesting to see how in the next five to 10 years, how reality TV and the movie industry mm-hmm. is going to merge. Just because on reality TV doesn't mean you can't be in a movie or in a TV series. Yeah. Like I think it's starting to merge a bit more. Yeah. So Definitely. what is, uh, is your aspiration to basically go into acting after Chelsea or during well, Chelsea? Well, yeah, I've always kind of like done theatre work and then obviously I just finished my um, master's at drama school. Okay, nice. And it was just kind of like, but it's a bit difficult because obviously filming for the show, it does take up a lot of your time mm-hmm. and it's kind of like, do I invest myself fully now in Made in Chelsea and then you know, still look for acting work, mm. but it's just finding the time. It's, I think if I did get a job, then I would have to leave the show. I can't do yeah. both. Yeah, I mean, it's a good platform and you're obviously doing really well on the show anyway. So like, it's a no-brainer really, isn't it? She's the new A-girl. A-girl. The new yeah. A-girl. The new the, it girl. The new it girl. Yeah. Yeah. No, so we have, on Chelsea, you have like, well, actually, well, <laughs> you have like your main stories and, you know, it's, we, we're a cast of 25 you know people so i forget how many people are actually exactly doing and, it. and it's um you're all filming separately but they i remember when we started chelsea producers were like yeah this girl is great they loved you straight away because you're really you're really really good at um 
you're you're just very much yourself mm. and you i i think from people who've started the show there there's always maybe like i'm not i don't want to say a game plan but they're they're very aware of like i've got to do this i want to look good you're yeah. just like i just genuine, want to have fun and genuine. genuine which mm. is really nice and i think that was very refreshing for the producers to see because you know again like we said this before everyone knows how tv works yeah you know they do understand the the, the gist of it so it's quite nice for someone to come in and be like I'm just gonna have some fun. Exactly. And enjoy it. No, it is fun. And like you do meet like fun people and everything. And I think it was weird though, because like starting it, I didn't really know a lot of people in the cast. And I was just like literally thrown into Bali. Mm. Like living with people for six weeks is a long time. Mm. Yeah. That you don't actually know. Mm. And that I think, but the fact that I went to Bali, that's when you did actually make your actual friendships with people. Yeah. And that, that was the same for me. Like when I yeah. did the show, I did a I did half um my first series and then it was the summer series straight away and it was Croatia. And mm. that's when I was like, I didn't really know anyone. Six yeah. weeks in Croatia and it was like, whoa, now I'm invested. Now I'm going to get to know everyone. Mm. And I think that's where you kind of make your footprint. It's like, okay, yeah. this is me and everything. And, you, and you've killed it. Honestly, smashed it. Well done. Thank you. Well, I'm glad I went for that drink and you were like, do it. Do it, yeah. Wait, I did, did you say do it? Well, I said, I said no, I, my concern yeah, you was, were. you want to be an actor, like, it is very hard to go from TV reality to being an actor. There, there yeah. is that, unfortunately, there's a stigma and you can't really sometimes get away with it. But I think, I think it was the right decision for you at your age, at what you're doing, social mm. media, it made sense. And you can have an amazing career in TV. Exactly. Yeah. So whatever, I think whatever like your path, it will find what am I saying? Do you know at the end of your path? Your path uh, will figure out. Yeah, <laughs> as in like, it'll, um, what's the saying? I know, I know. You know, mean. yeah, we know yeah, what I mean. Yeah, we get there in the end. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's a journey, we're there. Journey. There's a path in the journey. Yeah, yeah. Let, let it come to you. Yeah, that definitely not it, but yeah. <laughs> no, no, that's not it, but I know what you mean. I know what you mean. Um, have you, what, is there any expectations that you had on Chelsea before going on to it? And then you are like, oh my God, this is not what it's like, or you knew it was going to be like that? I think it's very different than I probably thought it would be. Mm. I think I, when I was younger, when I was what, like 10 or 10? Yeah, around, yeah. was I 10? When the show first came out, what, like 10 years ago? Yeah. 10 years ago. It 11. was like, a, it, was a, it was a huge thing. Like yeah. I remember we were all watching it when I was younger and it, you, I don't know, you forget that the cameras, you literally are so invested in these people's lives. Yeah. And I think it's really weird now being in, that situation yeah it's not what i expected it to be no what so what did you expect it to be i, I don't know you know you forget that there's like obviously producers involved and everything yeah. and it's also like whether some people will say something to you on camera that you maybe you trusted or something that can always come into you can, sometimes anger happens on camera and sometimes people are like, why are you that angry actually? Mm. And it's more so the betrayal of yeah. what's just been said. Yeah, the way, also the way it gets cut as well, right? Like yeah. it, it can make you look different to how it actually was. So like, I think always like editing is, you know. It's it plays into it. Pays into it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you were on Love Island, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's it, exactly the same. Like, I, I don't know. Mm. I obviously haven't been in Maine Chelsea, but um, Love Island, yeah, it's quite produced i'd say um, your voice went really high there <laughs> yeah, but oh is say, it well i mean there's producers on the floor on the floor, <laughs> the floor no, that lying down. that's tv talk that's, like, <laughs> that's tv talk being like they're on set yeah as yeah, in yeah. like there's there's like two producers who are basically just like chilling around and they might like you know pull yeah. you in the day and be like go chat to this person go chat to this person you'll go to the um the diary room as well and they'll say like oh you should take this person on a date you should do this so it's it's very it's not scripted but it's very sort of um Pushed. yeah they push you in certain directions yeah so, well the thing is i think a lot of people forget that tv what you watch on tv is it's for entertainment purposes right if we were all super happy and be like, oh yeah it's great what do you have for lunch no one's gonna watch it right yeah, exactly. well well that's it as well because obviously if you're on a tv show like love island as well like they want you to constantly for, for example like i would go to the gym in the morning and they'd be like charlie you can't go to the gym for so long because you're here to date people and i was like all right then um 
but like stuff like that like they want you to be actively yeah. what? pursuing yeah, things because yeah, yeah, like yeah. they want stuff to happen that would yeah. happen in the space of a few weeks happen in a day yeah like that so they want it to be very sort mm. of like punchy and all that sort of it stuff. makes sense and also love yeah. island the whole base of the show is love island it's about yeah. love it's about so you have to you you have to talk about the romantic situations between each other and all that so it makes sense yeah 100 percent. i to be honest when i first the first day i went in it was a bit like wow what the fuck because they really push you in to do like loads of stuff straight away like i got there and like go talk to this one, go to this one. do you know what i mean it's very full-on mm. usually if i was on the outside world i wouldn't do that i i would but it would take me a bit longer like you you gotta have a bit of game you know yeah yeah because um, that yeah that's so true because like, when you're you know in there I mean? you're like chatting to someone you know right yeah it's yeah, for yeah. dating purposes where in real yeah. life you can just chat to someone exactly and take a few days off and if, take, if you you don't know what it is ex exactly so like if i was like speaking to you for example yeah. and i was just like straight on for like, as quick as it was yeah in love and you'd probably be like oh yeah, exactly. Or maybe not. It depends. What do you like? Do you like it full factor 50? Or no, no. I don't like... Do you like it slow? Yeah. Right. <laughs> what we got? What we talking about? I quite like yeah? the ambiguity. It's quite yeah. nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you know? I, I know what you mean. Yeah. Do, you, do you think you're... Um, like, obviously, people know... Oh, no, people don't know. Anyway, let, cut that. What? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, oh, okay. Say it when you no, 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 no. Because in my head, this, this, the, this hasn't, Chelsea hasn't aired yet. Anyway. You can keep this in because I haven't said anything. Um, do you feel like going on a TV show now, being on yeah. Main Chelsea, um, you've now realised how unprivate your life is? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think definitely. It's really weird to kind of think that everyone can now watch what's going on in your life or like your actual real emotions. Mm. And I think that's quite hard. And what I found 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 hard now in this new series that we're filming i feel like it's the first a, a lot of stuff is actually happening in my life and before i didn't really know anyone whereas now i've actually created friendships relationship yeah. and it's like your actual emotion is involved it's not just like oh you know go on a date with him or blah 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 it's like no it's my life yeah and it's i find it is hard but it, it's super hard like i think a lot yeah. of people when they watch this go oh my god you've got you've got such an easy life and you film with your friends yeah it's like, yeah 100 percent the gist of it yeah of course it's a great job to have mm. but then it's like how would you like a camera in your face every time something goes wrong in your relationship or your friendship all the time and you have to talk about it and openly be honest about it yeah i i completely appreciate that but also at the same time it's kind of what you're signing up for right yeah, yeah no of course but that's, that's right. so you can't really yeah. like complain. yeah it's it's kind of like you can't get best of both worlds yeah it's it's ultimately you're going on the show because you're opening yourself up to people to look into your relationships and stuff like that. Mm. But I can understand how it's very hard. Like for me, if I was doing it, I'd probably try and keep it quite separate, but I could imagine it probably yeah. is quite hard, right? Once it's, you get invested in it. Yeah, I think it's yeah. hard to keep it separate. Yeah. It's hard. Did you did you try and do that at the beginning? Or? Well, at the beginning, I was like, you know, I was single. I, I mean... Did I keep it separate? Nah. Um, not really. <laughs> well, you'll soon see what happens in the next, uh, next series. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I didn't keep it separate. But now, yeah. I, I feel like what... in the beginning, from what, like how seeing you from like before Bali, then Bali, and then now, what, what we're, we're currently filming, yeah. you were very much like still kind of not giving your full life to Chelsea. Yeah. You're still kind of tiptoeing around like, okay, I'll give you a few in bits of information yeah. about my life. And, but I'm, you're still, I th and it's normal. Like you, you've got to trust the process, right? And it is scary. Yeah. And I think now after Bali, you've kind of gone, okay, cool. I'm in it now. Like you just said, I've signed the contract. You've they got need a, you've got to, it's your job. You've got to film about your relationships, your friendships, what's going on in Chelsea. Yeah. Um, but it, it, again, it's, it's hard to, pluck up the courage sometimes when you're in scenes yeah. and you're like I've got to deal with this now and it's not like it's not like you know when you you've got a situation with a friend and you may it's not the right thing to do but you you kind of ignore it yeah a couple of weeks go by here it's like you've got a schedule you're filming in three days and you've got to deal with it on that day yeah everything has to be quick like if you're feeling any little thing it's like right well also I think in relationships also they want you know, in reality, like reality is real reality, <laughs> but you'd see like a relationship evolve like slower. Yeah, yeah. But I think on the show, it's just like, do you love each other? Like in the next yeah. week, kind of. Yeah, quite intense. Like putting putting labels on things very fast. Yeah, it speeds up the process. Yeah, yeah, very quickly, which is sometimes a good thing. Good. Then you kind of realize sooner rather than later if it's a good match or not, or if it's it kind of pushes you to <laughs> to see where the relationship could go, but. Again, like it's so hard to explain. 
It is, but it's also good sometimes. I sometimes see it as quite therapeutic because you have to talk about your feelings. Mm. Like you have, you know, you speak to producers and they're like, how are you feeling, blah, blah, blah. They ask you questions. And I think that sometimes highlights a lot because, yeah. Yeah. you know, in, in actual, if I, a friend, they wouldn't be asking me these type of questions, but they yeah. would and I'm like, actually thinking of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the, uh, what's the most, what's been the most difficult bit um, on Chelsea for you? What has been, and you can talk about what viewers have seen already. Yeah. What what has been the most, you know, I think, tough? I think the toughest moment I've had on the show, first of all, was my embarrassment when I asked you on a date, but that wasn't <laughs> tough. That was just pure embarrassment. And then- She cried after. I go, no, because you said no. I cried. I was like, what have I just got myself into? I don't understand the concept of anything. And- um, what you you were a bit overwhelmed by just like the whole thing. I, I didn't yeah. I didn't really think I didn't understand how the show really worked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I just well, kind so you of came in a bit like naive, not really like yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was just like, okay, I'll ask him that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I think the hardest part for me was in Bali. I think that's the first time I actually had genuine emotion, you know, in front of cameras, and I think that was quite overwhelming. Yeah. Um, because I was obviously living with you know Izzy Harvey and Inga and Sam and I felt like they were actually close friends with me and I thought in the moment I don't know that was probably the hardest time yeah. I had in Bali mm. and I think kind of now my first ep two, first two eps you've like you've honestly and the views will understand once this yeah. uh, this series starts which is very soon I think in a couple of months um, but you started you went to probably one of the best away trips mm. that Chelsea have ever done you got stuck in straight away with people that you didn't really know and you put your raw emotion out there and even now you've sped up like it took me a year before my i was coasting it for a year when i first started chelsea and i was having fun getting involved whatever yeah. and then it was year two where personal things were really happening to me and i was like oh my god i have to film about this now yeah. and i think your your well this series is definitely happen just to give a bit of a teaser for the next series you you know what yaz is embracing it going with it and i i'm excited for everyone to see your journey because you're you're really really given your whole private life yeah and well done for that because it's scary yeah i think i've kind of now gotten to the headspace where it's like you're either doing it or you're not yeah and by keeping something in your private life which i've kind of learned from the first series it's always going to come out yeah oh yeah always going to come out yeah, anyway yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No matter, <laughs> literally no matter it yeah. is no point yeah. <laughs> you try to keep something what, a secret what are you talking about guys <laughs> no idea <laughs> But it comes out. It, it, what, so just to address the elephant in the room, what actually happened here, guys? <laughs> I mean, do you know what? It's and really... that's the end of this yeah. podcast. Uh, thank no, you for joining us. No, no, no. I just, I just like off the record. Well, we're on the record, but do you want to put the mic close to you? What? So what? You can twist what, it. What's what? happened, yeah. guys? Fill me in. Well, <laughs> nothing's happened. Actually, to be fair, nothing really serious has happened. That, okay, so no, to be fair, nothing's really happened. But I guess uh, this series, you guys will see what what. Oh, so it's all, it's all fair, I see. Yeah. Every, everything everything okay. from Bali, the viewers who've watched Bali, you'll watch this series and yeah. I think a lot of things will make sense. Okay. It does. Yeah. But it's also a lot for the viewers, perhaps it doesn't make too much sense for mm. them. Mm. I think, because it's like, why? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, hey, you can always come back on and we can we can divulge in that another yeah. time okay fine so it's something we can't really talk about right now well yeah yeah no genuinely yeah. like it's it's not even like yeah fair enough it's, it's we're, we're currently actually filming about it now i forget that sometimes that you i always forget that it's like oh it's not come out yeah, yeah. i'm thinking in my head oh this episode's out tomorrow it's not out tomorrow it's, no yeah so um but it, i quite like that it's coming out in a long time because i have time to process digest everything. it yeah. i have time to digest and then it and go, oh, go like, what did i do there oh actually that's a good question what, how was it for the for your first time watching yourself on tv i, I hated it because you get like you see the episode before it comes out mm. and i was very curious obviously you know it's the first time i started watching i think you're very critical with yeah. yourself yeah. because you're like oh my gosh why like you know you're very what you look like everything but at the end of the day you're gonna criticize yourself the most like no one's actually watching the show and being yeah. like f fixated on one person 100 percent, 100 percent. you're you it's natural to be hypercritical especially when you first see yourself to be fair i i haven't even watched 
the Love Island dives on. Did you not? What? You didn't no. watch? You didn't watch it? No, I watched it. No. Wait, what? I watched you on it. Yeah, did I you? I remember. That's okay, why yeah. you on his life. And that's why, yeah. But yeah. you're Damn. actually. You must get this all the time, but I think it's people judge people so much that they see like on the show and like yeah. they're, well, they're, they don't actually know you as a person. <laughs> so I'm acting like I know you so well. Like, no, 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 no. But like, as in, it's um. It's a good point because, like, you get put across very different to how you are in person on TV. Well, not I don't know on Chelsea, but on Love Island for sure, there's a lot of people that are put across very different to how they are in person. Yeah, but who knows? Um, hmm. But yeah, it is it is a weird one. Like, I watched the first episode where I came in, and I was like, Nah, I'm nah, good. no way, nah, <laughs> nah, not for me. <laughs> Let's get the worm. <laughs> yeah, no, oh, the worm is the best oh thing I've ever god. seen in my life. Oh my god, the dance. Yeah, yeah. Did you like it. I. <laughs> I loved it. Well, you said oh, that, you went, you like that, yeah. You, you yeah. Like, like can, you, can you do it now? I, I can't because there's a table in the way. Maybe we'll do it like in the corridor afterwards. I think. <laughs> okay, That'd I really want to see the work. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's, it's my party trick. I haven't really done it much, to be honest. Anyway, <laughs> let's get off the top of the worm. <laughs> no, we should stay on the top of the worm. The worm is amazing. Um, but yeah, yeah. And did you, so you guys knew each other before? So basically the way... We didn't like and, each other the first time we met. Yeah, so the way yeah. Miles and I know each other is I went to uni with Harvey yes. best friends then when he's going out with Sophie um we lived together in London for like two years I met Miles through Harvey like kind of like out in London and then we were both sort of going for the same girl when we were out and we hate each other to begin with oh really and then yeah we then sat the girl off and became his so friend. did you guys have the same type then <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. it's quite funny we we really do have the same type well we've gone for the same girl more than once as well yeah like the uh, well, I wouldn't say her name, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, the, the, anyway, yeah, there was yeah. a situ- another situation when we were friends where we went to the same girl, and it was yeah. a bit weird, wasn't it? We were laughing about it because we, we knew- were laughing about it. It was secretly we were like, oh, "He's gonna get." Her. <laughs> we both we both didn't get her at all. N- but neither of us is successful, which probably worked out better. Cut, yeah, kept yeah. the friendship strong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, but I, 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 f- yeah, I fucking love this guy. Like, honestly, this he's I love been. You too, man. I love you too, bro. Honestly, it's been. What a journey, mate. Yeah, I know. <laughs> like, honestly, I know. when I think about when we first met and like now where we are and what we're doing together is, is epic. Yeah, it's epic. Um, and also like uh, when we when we knew he was going on Love Island, he's the last person you ever think you'd do TV. Oh, really? He what had a corporate job. Before? Yeah. He's, you know, normal guy, nine to five. And then he was like, yeah, boys, uh, signed up and I've got through. Well, <laughs> so what did you, what were you doing? So you were, I, I was basically uh, working property, like essentially like an investment analyst, like, like investing in real estate um, for a big company. And um, I basically like got DM'd on Instagram about Love Island. And I, I got DM'd the, the year before and I was like, I just ignored it this year. Well, the year just gone. I was like, fuck it, I'll just go to the interviews. It all literally happened in the space of like a month. Like I had my first phone call and they're like, da, da, da. next thing they were like, we want you to come on as a bombshell in like the third week, second week. And I was like, wow. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I wasn't going to do it because I asked, I basically asked my work. I was like, um, for know. a joke, uh, what would you do if I went on Love Island? <laughs> yeah, and then, and then I ended up just like, it came down to it. I was like, fuck it. It's a bit of a once in a lifetime opportunity. Why not? And yeah. then here, here I am. Here you are. Yeah, so yeah. are you happy you went on it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, We're co-hosting now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sack <laughs> <Okay>. you off. <laughs> um, <coughs> sorry. Um, yeah, I it was. It's like, it's a, an amazing experience. Like the whole thing is mind blowing. Um it's like being in a social experiment really isn't it mm. but um yeah obviously i would have liked to have been on there for longer and got do you know like more airtime put away, put across a different way yeah but there's no point in looking back and things no. and regret do you know what i mean like it was still great i've learned a lot about myself and i, oh, I wouldn't be where i am now if it wasn't for doing that experience yeah and, do you know what i mean well the Path. one thing the, the also another thing that I've seen from you, from knowing you before Love Island and then after and then even doing playtime is he's way more relaxed in these sort of situations and being able to be a bit more open about just talking about mm. random stuff. And uh, like you said, when you go in a villa like that and you've got to show up and the whole point is to be romantic with people and date people, mm. it's, oh, it's nerve wracking. Yeah, I mean, the, when I first went on, that was like by far the most nerve wracking thing I've ever done in my life. Yes. Because they let, basically let you know you're in a holding villa and then they're like, you're, we're thinking you're going to come in tomorrow. They keep on saying it. And then I got a call 
at like 3 p.m. on the the day before I was supposed to go in and like change a plan you're going this evening <sighs> and really? then yeah yeah and they're like yeah so you basically what's going to happen is you're going to go in on your own and you're going to go on a date with all, a cock you're going to make cocktails for all the girls on your date I was like wow okay <laughs> don't know how to make cocktails <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> yeah yeah got practicing like, yeah. Mojitos. anyway I went in and then yeah it was super intense but it was it was fun um Handled it better than I expected. You did initial. great. He did great. I remember. What, I remember great. you had. Didn't you have a date in the hot tub? Yeah, yeah. I had one with two uh, dates. One with Tash. One with Ekansu. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember um, that. Yeah, that was that. Was, those were yeah my only two dates actually. But yeah, they were good. Um, and are you close? So I'm literally. I'm no, 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 you can no, ask no, anything. No, 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 no. Are you still close to everyone on the show? Uh, so I see a lot of Jay. He's like one of my boys. Yes. I fucking love Jay. I Jay's he amazing. Was out that night, the ice game raffles night. Was he? The ice game. Oh, let's not talk <laughs> about that? the ice game. <laughs> What's that? The ice game. Well, no, Charlie wasn't there, were you? Ooh, what happened oh, what? Uh, <laughs> Charlie, were you there? No. <laughs> no, what were you. What Talk me through it. Well, it's quite grim, to be honest. Okay. It was not grim. Wait, 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 wait. So what, we did it in Bali as well. Oh, we did so do it in what, Bali. What's the game? So you <laughs> have ice. In your mouth. In your mouth. And, and then you, you hand it over to someone. Hand it over. Okay. Well, you don't hand it over. You mouth it over. You mouth it over. Mm. Sounds, sounds pretty. And that's uh, what I participated in at Raffles. Oh, wow. And then got a lot of blame in Bali series for... The ice game. The ice game. That was it. Was it the ice game? Was what, it not? Was it? Who knows? Well, Who you'll knows? see soon on the next series. Wow. Um, the, the Talking about TV shows, now you're in TV. Mm-hmm. Are you thinking of maybe doing other TV shows? Like, you know, there's Celebs Go Dating. Yeah. There's um, Celebs Get Me Out of Here. There's Strictly Come Dancing. Yeah. Uh, all those shows. <laughs> like, is there anything what, that you want to do? Well, I think... I, right now, obviously, I wouldn't just go. Can you do an audition? No, you can't. Can you, you don't do auditions. They, you just, you have like no, a. No, but not auditions. But I'm saying like, you can't just go and do another show, can you? Yeah, you can. Oh. You get signed off by Channel Four. Miles has done it a couple of times. Yeah, yeah. Well, I would actually be really down to do another show. I'd so love to do it on the beach. A, um, <laughs> what would I like to do? What is a show that you're like? Okay, now I'm on TV. I'd mm. love to do that show because right now there's some producers. They could be listening to this right now. I'd love and to if do you are. <laughs> um, I'm also up for grabs as well. Uh, what would you like to do? Well, I think I think in obviously now I'm not that relevant enough to do a show like that. But I would love to do like Strictly Come Dancing. Yeah. 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 Are you a good Are you dancer? Good da- oh, stole. Dude. Well, I went to <laughs> drama question. school. Great question. <laughs> went to drama school, but I was never the dancer. What? So wait. So because you went to drama school, everyone who goes to drama school can sing, right? Yeah. Oh, can so are you? Are you Really? Huh? Are you, are you good? Oh, really? Yeah, you, you re- can sing. Do you reckon you could you sing, sing for us now, or is that a bit too? Too on the pressure. Spot? It's like when you had to do the worm. Okay. How? Do you know okay, what? okay. Wait. I'll, I'll. How about if I sing, we can duet. I'm too nervous. Can you? If he does the worm, that will move some no, stuff no, no, around. No, I'm not doing the fucking worm. All right. Jesus oh, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> Christ. Um, yeah. Maybe in like no, no, a few no, no. weeks time. Yeah, that's that's a bit that's a bit pressure. I don't want to make you feel under pressure. Um, You're a good singer, so you can sing, you can dance. What what can't what can't you do? What, yeah, that what can't it. that's it? What can't you do? <laughs> what can't I do? That is that one of the questions that you ask on a date? Uh, that's a good date question. Why does it feel like I'm dating you? Not really. A little bit. No, I feel, I feel <laughs> with like... Miles, with us, us three on a triple date. Cool. Yeah, I always bring him along for support. Yeah, I'm here. <laughs> um, do you know what a podcast is? A little bit like a date, isn't it? Well, yeah, it's it's quite a uh, it's quite a good you... way to sit down and. Charlie, can you use your best chat up line on Yaz and see if Yaz would like it? No, look, look it's not about why. Why is this all about me going on dates? <laughs> no, we didn't say anything. You're bringing that back up. We just said give your best chat up. Line. I don't. I don't use chat up lines. What mate. do you use? Just my normal chat. <laughs> Which is just get to know them, you know. <laughs> get to know them. Yeah. What's uh? Okay. Do what's you... go ahead. Sorry. You're... No, you go. <laughs> I'm getting all the questions. <laughs> you go. You go. You go. No, no, you no, go. no. You go. You go. Um, I I've lost. <laughs> sorry, I've... sorry. sorry <laughs> um, go ahead. Yeah. So uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. I was gonna ask, what's um, what's your normal go to for a guy? Like, what do you want in like relationship? What do you like about a guy? <laughs> what are you laughing well what do i like about a guy well so i'm in a relationship now yeah and i think it's really important to laugh together yeah, yeah. 
also what I like is that I can see them as like one of my best friends. Yeah. Like there's a friendship there. Also, you need to have a sexual thing there as well. Yeah. Mm. But um, I just like someone that just is very chilled, easygoing, mm. and doesn't take themselves <laughs> too seriously mm. kind of vibe. Yeah. They need that's to be, important. They, do you know what? They need to have a drive in life. Yeah. And I think that's important. doesn't matter how much money someone makes or something, but just have some ambition. Passion, yeah. yeah. Passion. Yeah. And... How, just, have, would you say you, all your exes are similar or not? No, I think that all very... Well, I've had, not had loads. I was in a relationship for two and a half years. That ended in April. And they were actually younger than me. Mm. Oh, interesting. Um, Sorry. Do you, uh, how old are you? Do you mind me asking? I'm 23. Okay. How old are you? Uh, guess um if you went to uni with harvey are you the same age as harvey he's a year How's younger harvey? i'm 28 i was about to say I was i'm actually say 29 on sunday oh my god happy birthday well yeah thank you what are you doing nice for your birthday you. uh what am i doing i am uh um, dinner right i'm i'm seeing a few friends for some drinks on friday and then going for dinner on saturday so sunday nice. maybe seeing my parents <laughs> who knows um but anyway enough so, about me what star sign are you? Star sign, I'm Aquarius. I'm not really into it's like that. Like my though. ex. Really? Are you in star signs? Um, I I, th- I do believe in star signs. So are you? So say for example, you go on a date with someone and mm. you're like, oh, I'm not compatible with that star sign. What would you do? I mean, I, I would be like, right, maybe I can change the whole astrology system. Right. What? So as in, <laughs> you would be like, this wouldn't work. This is no. cute. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny? This is the reason why I'm laughing is because we've had this chat about star signs and he's always said i would i don't just don't care about star signs and well i'm all, <laughs> and then you're really into it it's all of a sudden no, 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 I'm, you realize it works <laughs> no 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 as in it's the same i'm saying exactly the same thing i've just said i'm not i don't believe in it but i find it intriguing when girls well and guys as well but generally speaking girls basically are like nah i can't date you because you're not compatible with my oh, star no, sign no i would never do that so you're just like you know might not work because we're not compatible star sign wise but well, really you're just like nah fuck it well i always think nah maybe it's not true well with my ex he's an aquarius and i looked up our um compatibility and it said three percent right. well i still wow. had a two and a half year relationship with him right well maybe it didn't work did it so yeah they were right yeah. what star sign are you then i'm a taurus what does that mean um what They're the a traits? Bull. A bull. <laughs> Bit of a bull. Um, <laughs> <laughs> well, is that what I, a bull does? Is that what bulls, bulls, bulls don't go. <laughs> yeah. yeah, cat. Um, it was stubborn, apparently. Really? Am I stubborn? Yeah. Do you, why do you think I'm stubborn? You are. In terms of <laughs> everything. <laughs> no, I'm joking. No, you're not that stubborn. No, I'm, I think I'm not stubborn. You're very. You know what? You're very. Um. Uh, why are you laughing before I've even said this? <laughs> you're very passionate as a person. Do you think? Yeah, you're, you. Go on. Yeah. Mate, why Because you, you keep laughing when I say it. I'm not. I'm just okay. smiling. I'm no. allowed to be happy. <laughs> <laughs> you're very, um, no, you're very, you're very like. <laughs> what? Did I don't you know. Carry on? Yeah, you're very like uh, passionate and quite emotional as well. Oh, Sorry. Just... <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about something really nice here. Yeah. <laughs> carry on, carry on. <laughs> No, but you are. You're. You're. I feel like you're. You're. You're very invested in your friendships. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why, but you're making me laugh. Um, is that a trait for Taurus? I don't know. What? what I think apart so. from being stubborn, passion. passion. I'm a passionate person. Yeah. yeah. I am. <laughs> so it's good. Passion. Passion yeah. is is key. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean. That's good to know. I don't <laughs> completely <laughs> lost my train of thought of what we're talking about. I have no idea what's going on right now. Yeah, it's sort of a bit of a weird dynamic, isn't it? Um, what, what, well, ask us a question. What, what you mean us? us. What, like, yeah. it, no, no, you. A- ask us a question. <laughs> yeah. So like a northern person. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Ask us a question, lad. Um, <laughs> what? What, uh, what, what <laughs> I mean... Any any other questions you want to ask? <laughs> I've asked loads. I'm just waiting for you to ask some. Um, You're not interested in our guest? Yeah, no. I am. I've been asking you lots of questions. <laughs> Do you feel like I haven't asked you enough questions? I think you asked questions. <laughs> I think you've asked questions. You haven't asked a lot of questions. I haven't asked a lot? No, not at all. Really? No. Anyway, this is just ridiculous. Let's just talk about something. Um <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you're the one who says talk about something. Well, I mean, like, what do you want to talk about? 
<laughs> okay, look, uh, as this is playtime, <laughs> yeah. it's a playful podcast, as you can see, right. we're taking the piss out of ourselves. Is there anything that we'd be surprised about? About, about who? About, about, I don't know, about fucking what, that it, painting behind you. About you. Um, what it would surprise <laughs> the person? Well, what would, I, I feel like obviously now you're on Chelsea, people are going to see a lot more of you. Yeah. They're going to expect a lot of you. What is something that would maybe surprise the audience? And us maybe. Maybe something like, we don't know. Oh, God. <laughs> I speak Dutch. <laughs> there really? We go. Can you speak some Dutch for us now? Yes, yeah, schat, what would you say? Ooh, what's that mean? I said, darling, what do you want me to say? Darling, do you want me to say? That's, mm. that's quite good. You're going to say, that's hot. <laughs> I saw your face. Mm, that's hot. No, it's, it's fine. Like... My TikTok um, knows that I speak Dutch. Yeah. My do Dutch... you speak any other languages? Um, No. Just Dutch. I mean, I can understand it's more than I can you. speak. So, yeah. You can understand a few, dad... but you can't speak. Like, I can understand a bit of Spanish. Like, I've always gone to Spain. Right. And, um, and my dad's Syrian. Oh, okay. Nice, nice. So what language do they speak in Syria? Arabic. Can you not speak Arabic? Arabiti mishmaniha. Whoa. <laughs> Damn, but also so you can, you can speak a bit of like a couple yeah. languages. Also, you so. whispered that. you were like, Arabic, <laughs> yeah. Make it sound better. Damn. Yeah, my, uh, my Arabic friend actually taught me some Arabic once. But really? Go for it. I've forgotten what it is, so I can't Habibi. tell you. Well, Habibi. Habibi, that's played, it. I literally Habibi. played a voice Oh, note. also, okay, okay, okay. Boliki licky. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? Say that again. It means like what, what, doesn't it? Hang <laughs> <laughs> on. Bully kiki. <laughs> it, it means like what, what doesn't it? <laughs> what? Bully, bully kiki. What did you say? Sounds like balls licky. Yeah, that's balls licky licky. <laughs> What's that movie when they talk like that with Johnny Depp? He goes, Bull licky licky. No, no, honestly, look at that. Oh, thank God, Jill. Do you know it? I've got no. my red now. Wait, uh, what, did, what did you say it meant? Uh, it, I think it. <laughs> ball licky licky, that's what he said. I, th I think it means. <laughs> Do you like, want to lick my balls, basically? Ba that's ba what he's ba asking. Ba basically, I was in. I went to go see one of my good friends who lives in Egypt, and um, <laughs> a phrase he kept on saying, he gets to go and bull licky licky. I think he's taking the piss out of you yeah. on that no, 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 no. Did he say it means? Yeah, I, think it, I think he kept on saying it when he was trying to get someone's attention, so it's almost like. Hey, what's up? <laughs> I, I don't know what it means. Ball licky licky. Let me ask him. That is where You know what? I've never heard. So my dad. Ask your dad. Gone, no, I'm going to ask. My dad's got a very thick Arab accent. I just, you heard in the voice yeah, notes now. Habibi. Habibi. Can we hear a bit? Yeah. Let's listen to this. Put it up to the mic as well when you play okay. it. Okay. Dad making a special debut. debut. Your dad, by the way, seems so cool. Oh. And like you have such a, that's another thing I'd like to add. You and your family look so tight and like like such a just such a beaut family like you you really do love each other don't you yes it's, we it's nice to see and also it's nice to see like you and your dad you've got an amazing bond there yeah and your mom have an amazing bond so does your dad live that he doesn't live here does he no so he lives kind of between um syria and london okay and i think obviously with the war and everything it's yeah. it was difficult so he had to do, sort out a lot of things there yeah um and then yeah my mum's Lives in London. Sweet. Um, You're my neighbour. Yeah, we're down the road. Down the road. But my, I've been away. I've been away. She, she's been away. She's ages. been away. Um, so I'm kind of living alone. Do you have siblings? I do. I have two half brothers and a half sister. Are they similar age to you? No, they're older. I, I have. Actually, this will surprise you. What? I have seven nieces and nephews. Whoa, well, that's a lot. That is a lot. Do you see yeah. them a lot? Wow. Not really. Wait, so your niece being... Sorry, this sounds really stupid. So that'll be on uh, your niece being your s sister's... <laughs> children. Children. Yeah. 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 So your so, sis sister's been busy. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, my brothers have children as well. Yeah, yeah. My oh, sister's right. have seven. Oh, it's right. not just a sister. Oh, right. <laughs> your sister's <laughs> been I love busy. I <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, fair play. Damn. Um, no, she's got three children. Right, okay, then, fine. I was going to say seven is... They are a lot older than me. Yeah. But that's nice. <laughs> Uh, no, but I thought I thought um, you were saying it's all from your sister, and I was like, "Fair play, that'd be That's that'd amazing. be an achievement." Yeah, seven kids. Yeah. How many kids do you guys want? If you want kids, um, I want three or four or five or six. <laughs> Depends on the girl. <laughs> if she can pop them out, we'll do it. <laughs> no, I I think three is a great number. Three or four. Yeah. Yeah. You? you? Yeah. Me. Um, I'm probably two. Oh, sorry. Probably about two. I don't know. See what happens. I'm a two. I'm very like 
Okay, nice, nice. Um, <laughs> what do you want, boy and girl? Yeah, yeah. I, don't, I think three is a bit awkward because I think one of them is going to get left out. Mm. I think four is But I want that genius school, child. School, you could bring all the kids to school in your big car. Four is too much. Four is too much. Yeah, seven. <sighs> Whoa. Seven. <sighs> seven from one. But when I, I was obsessed with cheaper by, is it cheaper by the dozen? No, cheaper by the dozen. Cheaper by the dozen. I said, I said, when I'm older, I want 12 kids. That's hectic. I, I wanted be... that. That'd be big. Have you seen how they're... Hasn't Kim Kardashian done this? Um, someone told me about this the other day. Oh, yeah. They, she they have a... Uh, sorry, you, you have a... Oh, no. I know. Okay, sorry. Let me, let me start again. So I was talking to Ollie. We just went skiing with Ollie and Gareth. And they're obviously trying for a kid at the moment. And he was explaining the process. And it's basically... They have a surrogate mother. So yeah. they basically give the semen to this mother who holds the baby. Anyway, apparently that's a really... <laughs> I mean, yeah, I looked at each other when he said the word semen, and we were like, don't laugh, don't laugh. Come on, guys. We're such children. Yeah, I, I love that we looked at each other and went, <laughs> What do you want me to say? Like, <laughs> we have. <we're> so- <laughs> what do you want me to say? It was so stupid. I was like, don't laugh, don't laugh. I mean, it's quite a. Uh, no, I don't know why. It's, it's stupid. Not even funny. It's not funny. Yeah, but it's not. It's, it's a, really don't laugh. laugh. It's, a natural, <laughs> it's a natural bodily fluid. We all, we've all been there. No, well, the, well, yeah, <laughs> we haven't Wait, all been so there. No. What you're saying is that no, no, no. So basically, I... basically, apparently, a surrogate um, mother yes is quite common for women these days who can give birth. Yeah. Apparently, Ollie was telling me Kim Kardashian has had it with yeah. all of her children. And I think yeah, that's, apart from one, that's apart from un- one, I, I, first I, one. I had no idea. Yeah. Mind blown. Because she did. If you think about it, when have we seen her pregnant? Well, I mean, I the thing is, I don't really follow her, so I don't know. Yeah. I, I mean, I have. Are you been, not a Kim K fan? No, I've never watched any of that sort of stuff. I used to follow her on Instagram, not anymore. But anyway, mm. um, well, it, I didn't realize that was a, a thing. Would you do that? Do um, not surrogate mother. No. So do you know what? I want to actually have that whole process. Mm. I want to be pregnant mm. and like living it for nine months. I think it's a process. <laughs> yeah. So that's something. Of course, if you like, literally, if it's going to do physical damage to you or you literally can't do it then yeah. fair enough but mm. i'd want to experience it yeah yeah yeah. i, I think as it... a mother it's super important as well to be connected to your child exactly like i think it's like the, mo- the that's your bond isn't it it's like you you're giving birth exactly so, but at the same time you know if you don't if you've had one child and you have more and you didn't like the pain it was hurtful and mm. so i know a lot of pregnancies can be really tough on on women and that maybe could be a good solution but I think it's, yeah, crazy. I think you'd maybe lose that connection with your child. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not a mother, so I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, I was just a bit like, I didn't even realise that was a done thing. Yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Well, on that note, we're going to end the podcast here. How, how long have we been going for? <laughs> We've been going for nearly an hour. Really? Yes. Time um, flies when having fun. fun. Yeah. Well done, you two there. Um, <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you, Yaz, for joining us and losing your podcast virginity with us. Thank yeah. you so much for having me. No worries. I feel really special. Yeah, you, you should. should. I've been part of this. <laughs> yeah. And this has been lovely. <laughs> Do you want to yeah. plug anything that you, you're doing at the moment before we go on any projects or your TikTok and YouTube, everything like that? I've got a YouTube channel. Yeah, yeah go check her out on YouTube. Yeah. We'll put it in the link. We'll just put our all our socials. We never actually do that. Though. No, we don't. We say we, yeah, we will do it this we'll time. We'll start doing We'll now. do it this time, yeah. yeah. You guys should have a YouTube channel as well. We do we have do. a YouTube channel. This goes out have on YouTube. You, have you not been watching it? Have you, I thought you watched us. You lied. I did watch it on YouTube. Mm. Yeah. Absolute and then, lies. Like, I, I did. You did? Yeah. What one? You, with you guys and Emily. And actually, it was a really funny moment because you guys were talking about me and then she was like, in the moment, she was like, that's so weird. Yaz texted me as oh. I watched oh. that. So... That's some proof. That was special, did you? I see, I see, yeah. I see. Mm. Okay. Well, thank you guys for joining us. Uh, please do not forget to follow us on all social media platforms and our beautiful Yaz. Um, she is quite big on TikTok and check it out. She sings, she talks Dutch, she does all <laughs> sorts of things. She eats also caviar and butter. And she finds it very interesting. Um, but yeah, thank you again for joining us. Again, if you want to see the exclusive content, please subscribe to our Patreon page. It's $3.99 and you get to see all the exclusive content like we're about to film with Temptation and we're going to be debriefing on loads of saucy things like those Love Islands who are very annoyed with us but we find it extremely funny so we'll keep doing it to piss you guys off Uh, anyway thanks again for joining us and we love you see you later guys thank you